एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर चैनल इंफिनिटी लाइफ साइंसेस या टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और इंट्रोडक्शन टू द माइक्रोबायोलॉजी हियर द टर्म माइक्रोबायोलॉजी इटसेल्फ इंडिकेटिंग माइक्रो मींस स्मॉल और टाइनी एंड द बायोलॉजी इज द टर्म दैट इज डेरिवेटेड फ्रॉम द ग्रीक बायो मींस लाइफ एंड लोगोस मींस स्टडी हियर माइक्रोबायोलॉजी द स्टडी ऑफ स्मॉल लिविंग थिंग्स इज सिंपली कॉल्ड इट एज माइक्रोबायोलॉजी Microbiology is a branch of biology, and it is the study of living organisms of microscopic size. It is a concern with the study of microorganisms, which include a diverse group of simple life forms. Those are bacteria, fungi, viruses, algae, and protozoa. So here we have a question that is, what are microorganisms? See, they are the tiny creatures. Means organisms are in very small in size. and which are not easily seen by the naked eye means we cannot see with our direct eye their size is so very small hence the term microorganism is assigned to them and with the help of the magnifying devices like a uh, microscopes with the help of the magnifying devices with the help of microscope we can see the microorganisms anthony van leeuwenhoek a scientist from the netherlands he is commonly regarded as the father of microbiology and he is the first microbiologist he was the first person observed and described a single cell organisms later he named as the animal cules which we now refer to as the microorganisms he was also the first to record a microscopic observations like uh, muscular fibers spermatozoa bacteria and blood flowing capillaries all these Microbiology can be defined as a science which deals with the isolation, identification, classification, maintenance, manipulation, and exploitation of the microorganisms. Microbiology is concerned with the structure, function, classification of the organisms and with way of controlling and using their activities. In our microbiology, isolation means a simply separation. We will uh, separate the microorganisms from the mixed cultures. The next one is the identification. a state of being identified is known as identification in our microbiology with the help of the magnifying devices like microscope we will observe the morphology colony and we will do the gram staining techniques through that we can identify the different kind of microorganisms the next one is the classification the process of classify is known as classification here we will classify the organisms into the bacteria fungi viruses algae and protozoa the next one is the maintenance a process of preserving a condition is known as maintenance and the next one is the manipulation we will exploit the microorganisms in our microbiology and we will influence and control and we will alter the microorganisms in our microbiology let's take a snapshot of today's class listen carefully guys micro means small or tiny bio means life and logos means study the study of small living things is simply call it as microbiology The term microbiology is first coined by the Louis Pasteur. Microbiology is a branch of biology, is a study of living organisms of microscopic size which include bacteria, fungi, algae, protozoa and the infectious agents in the borderline of life that are called viruses. Microorganisms are tiny creatures also called microbes which are not easily seen by the naked eye. their size is very small and hence the term microorganisms is assigned to them these are seen with the help of the magnifying devices like microscopes anthony van leeuwenhoek a scientist from the netherlands he is commonly regarded as the father of microbiology and he considered to be the first microbiologist he was the first to observe and describe the single cell organisms which he originally referred to as animal cules and now we are referred to as microorganisms he was also the first to record microscopic observations like bacteria spermatozoa blood flowing capillaries however in a broad sense microbiology can be defined as a science that deals with the isolation identification classification maintenance manipulation and exploitation of the structural functional and biochemical activities of microorganisms so this is the introduction of microbiology guys this is about today's class guys thank you for watching